when we think about what an e-portfolio is, an e-portfolio is not different from a standard portfolio. It's just that it's done electronically. Now, there are really three things that we want to think about. So first off, what is an e-portfolio? Second, why should we have one? And then what on earth is it used for? Through the rest of this, we're going to address each one of these questions so that you can get the answers you need to be able to effectively utilize your ePortfolio to document your learning. It has been said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting to get different results. So when we think about our academic focus and our progress, one of the things we have to think about is, are we doing the same thing? Much like the hamster in this running wheel, no matter how fast a hamster runs, it is only going to go so far, and that is in the same circle until it gets exhausted. We need to make sure that we're not just spinning our wheels. So what is an e-portfolio? Portfolios come in a number of different kind of configurations. It could be a binder, like a standard three-ring binder that you're putting stuff in. It could be a spiral notebook. It could be focused on a specific type of event or activity. In, in this case, it could be an art pro portfolio. It could be a portfolio that is for models. Models have a portfolio to be able to show their uh, photographs so that they can be selected and hired for jobs. It could simply be a portfolio of information. It could be as simple as a binder that you put stuff in. When we think about the electronic portfolio and what we're doing, we are truly looking at a tool that will allow us to capture the experiences that we have had educationally and show the success that we have had. Success itself is not always a perfect score. Success is frequently just doing better this time than you did last time. Why should we have an e-portfolio? The big thing with portfolios is it's a way for us to document what we have done. So often there are things that we have, we have accomplished or projects that we have created that we really wish we could have saved uh, so that we could share them with other people. I know as an adult, there are plenty of things that I wish I could share with my children that were things that I did in the, in the past that because I don't necessarily have them captured in any particular form or fashion, I'm not able to. It's the reason why we have photo books and, and photo albums and why we post digital pictures online it, it is that it is all an intent and purpose to ensure that we are actually sharing what it is that we have accomplished. So it is your record of what you have done. So at the end of all of this, what is a portfolio actually used for? It's used to capture what it is that you have done. It's used to show and be able to showcase the things that you have been successful in. Understand success isn't always a perfect score. Success might simply be doing better on something this time than you did last time. So, you know, if you have a math sheet and last time you missed five, but this time you only missed two, that's a win. And so that might be an artifact or evidence that you would want to upload. The point behind having this portfolio is that this is a way that you can share your successes with your family, with uh, future employers, with your teachers in high school. Portfolios are used throughout all different uh, businesses and the way they present what it is that they're doing, and it is a way for you to show your work. The portfolio process is driven by self-reflection, and without self-reflection, we can't be successful. Take your marks. This is Set. just the beginning of your academic race. You will be moving forward each and every day to achieve the objectives that you set for yourself. By utilizing self-reflection and the process of collecting items and artifacts that show what you have done, you can ensure your future success. This is only the beginning.